guys, Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft, and today we're going to make a hobo fishing kit. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to show you the components to make this, and uh, we're going to put one together and show you how you paint it up and fix it up. So don't go away, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back, and uh, I'm going to show you the components or the materials actually that you need to make this. Uh, what we have here is a piece of standard PVC pipe. Uh, this is one inch PVC pipe. Nothing special. You can get a five foot section at Home Depot or Lowe's for about four bucks, four and a half, to, you know, five bucks. You need the adapter to go to a threaded end. This happens to be a three quarter inch one. I think that's $1.25. The end cap was 50 cents. And this the uh, the screw top cap I think was 75 cents to a dollar uh, you need a cord lock okay that's for your lanyard and you need a piece of paracord so uh, I already pre-measured this to eight inches okay so uh, let's put this thing together I'm just using an ordinary hacksaw to cut my PVC pipe Put some sandpaper, get all your burrs, I just rough it up a little bit before the painting process. Alright, now once we have all our pieces, we're going to lay them out and we're going to take some PVC cement. Okay, I should be doing this in a little bit more ventilated area, but okay, okay, that's our thread top. And then this is for our end cap. Okay. Here's our top. Okay, we're going to let this dry. All right. And then we will paint it. All right, guys. So we're back. And uh, I'm going to be using a Krylon camouflage paint. This happens to be ultra flat brown, like a tan, coyote tan. And then I'm going to have an ultra flat uh, brown, bark brown. Alright guys, so the first coat is done and uh, now I'm going to go to a flat brown and I'm just going to camouflage this up. So I've, what I've done is I've gone out and I've got a couple of leaves and basically I'm just going to use the leaves and uh, knock it out of the way and there you go. Now you got a leaf on there. So we'll have a little bit of fun with these. Okay, there's a nice little camouflage look to it.
right. We'll let it dry, and then we'll put it all together. Okay, so here's the one we just painted. All right. It's pretty dry. Got a nice little camo look to it. And the last thing that we're going to do to it is we're going to take our piece of paracord. Okay, and we slipped it through the cap. Okay. Just going to tie an overhand knot in it for our lanyard. And just cinch it up. Okay, we'll burn the ends off of that a little bit later. We'll take our cord lock. And we're going to stick that on through. This way it'll keep the lanyard from going back through the hole. Screw your top on. And there you have it. And that would be the construction of your fishing kit. Now just to go through this one, everybody can basically decide what they want to put in to their own kit. And I'll just tell you what I have in mind. And if you like the idea, fine. If not, set yourselves up again with what works for you. Up here, I have 50 feet of bank line that I have held in place by two ranger bands, which are just mountain bike inner tubes that have been cut into rubber bands. Right here, I have 60 yards of spider wire, which will take care of any fish that I'm probably going to catch. Uh, it's 40 pound test, so we'll catch a big one and it'll also catch a small one. We open up our top. We actually have some extra room, which is why I made mine a little bit larger than some of them. Uh, I haven't added it yet, but I'm going to put in some rubber worms and I could probably get a nice spinner bait in there. I have two different bobbers. I have a plastic screw top bottle that has my assortment of hooks. I have different size hooks. I have two larger ones in case I want to run a Texas rig. And the rest are smaller hooks for panfish. And here I have an assortment of weights, some split shot. Got plenty of room to add my leaders and some swivels. And Essentially, that's my hobo fishing kit. So, I hope you like it. I hope you take some ideas from it. And uh, I thank you for your views. I thank you for your comments. And until the next one, take it easy.